I was so angry. Yeah, I did drugs. I was like mad constantly. He touched me inappropriately. The school called the cops on me. It still brings up flashbacks. Murphy Harps for me was a miracle. It was a godsend. If you weren't around in the 1920s and most of us weren't, you probably don't know much about the Murphy Harps Children's Center. Back in 1924, the Harps Home and Murphy Homes were orphanages. But now the Harps Center is a 160-acre residential treatment campus in Cedartown. While the Murphy Campus, originally started by school teacher Sarah Murphy, provides a group home and outpatient mental health services. Both work with abused and troubled children. To see them come in as such damaged hearts. As he told me, I'm going to kill you. He kept on making threats to me. And you know, loss. Yeah, I was on the street 99% of the time. And you see these holes in their eyes. You don't survive, you nothing. Murphy Harps is the best placement for children with severe emotional problems. For many of these kids, this is the only safe place they've known in years. Um, and I ran away from home a couple of times. Ran away from just home. Why? I didn't want to be there. <laughs> Thank you. Many of these children were failing in school because of intolerable conditions at home, drugs or alcohol abuse. I was only six years old and he was 13 years old, so I had to obey what he told me to do. Sometimes so horrible. And then I went to his room. To this day, they can't talk about it. But here, they have an environment where they achieve some of their dreams. It's awesome. I think I've, like, I've been in three placements, and I know four, actually. And I think I've um, actually mastered some of my goals. Now, what do you, what do you hope to accomplish in life? Just, what are your goals? I have a job, a house, to make it somewhere. What do you want to be? A basketball player. You want to be a basketball player? Yeah. Pro basketball player? Yeah. Are you that good? Yeah. Every cottage on campus begins each day at 6 a.m. and ends at 9 p.m. They start with cleanup duties and a hearty breakfast. Students who have earned privileges may also apply for minimum wage jobs first on campus. After proving their responsibility, they uh, fill out an application, they take a career assessment, they sign a contract. Von Shays often helps them get off campus jobs. During the program, they learn uh, what uh, employers expect of them, they learn what co workers uh, expect of them, they learn uh, how to, uh, to get along and uh, be productive in the job. Doing all right today? Hi there, how are you? Cody is an example. Are you satisfied with his work? I am very satisfied with Cody. Cody's come a long way. When he first started, he was very timid, shy, uh, and now he's very outgoing. He's very comfortable working with the others. I think you might like to go in the grocery business? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I have a nice say. Murphy Harps gets a fee for each defects child assigned here. The fees hardly cover the basics. The basics would be just room and board. So it's giving them a place to live, which is important, and food to eat, which is important and close to where, but it isn't going to make them better. They need a lot of therapy. They need psychiatric help. They need assessments, accurate assessments by our psychologists. They need so much more. And the state is now calling us a child caring institution, not therapy. That's ridiculous. It is totally ridiculous. This is a therapeutic environment, and that's why the children get better. Funding for services to our children has declined by 25% over the past year, although costs continue to climb. Donations must make up that difference, which exceeds a million dollars. But at Murphy Harps, these children continue to get more than just the basics. They get a staff that has learned to never give up on a child, even if that child resists with every breath. He had a psychotic episode. He became very aggressive, very dangerous. He held four policemen at bay with a weapon, just a crafted, handcrafted weapon. Uh, finally, they got him to the emergency room. Before he left here, he had totally torn up his room. And these rooms are pr pretty much indestructible, but he had torn it up. 
He went to the hospital. They finally got him there. He tore up the waiting room. They had to give him two shots of a very heavy sedation. And when he woke up, our staff person was still sitting there. And he said, why are you still here? And she said, because I'm waiting to take you back. And he said, you're taking me back? And she said, of course. He could not believe it. Some graduates of Murphy Harpst believe this place saved their lives and felt compelled to come back and work. If I hadn't have came here, which was Ethel Harp's stand, I would have been in jail, there's no doubt in my mind. But it was people that showed me, taught me respect for myself, taught me respect for other people, and to care about where I was going, what I was doing. To, to give back to such an amazing organization who gave me a, gave me a second chance at life, um, and to, to give back to these children is brings my heart such joy. Ethel Harpst, a Methodist missionary, set up the original orphanage on what is now 160 acres in northwest Georgia in 1924. Sarah Murphy, an African-American teacher who had a heart for the little children of the migrant field workers, opened many schools in the early 1920s before she opened her home to the first six little orphans who came to her in 1931. Thousands of children have passed through these gates. Some stayed a little while. Can we talk a little bit about the two opposites, reasonable and emotion? Others have learned life skills Their here. Attitude, emotional, kind of like you cry at others. Then graduated to the group home or to the home of a relative or to foster care. There's a constant search at Murphy Harpst for something that will turn these children on to life and give them hope. I think that's the juiciest one. Sometimes the lowly worm and a promised fishing trip can provide motivation. Stop. They both have two heads and they both have two butts. So they can eat at the side and digest. Sometimes the key that motivates social skills is sports competition. Often it takes getting love from and giving it to an animal. Hands together. <laughs> then we're going to get ready and go take this wonderful last day of care. And sometimes a caring teacher is the key to their hearts. Whatever it takes to get these children to graduate from a world of hurt. See if it still fits you? Yeah. Okay. With to dance shoes. at a graduation prom into a world of hope. We're about some jewelry. We have some purple necklaces. Uh, because failure to win the hearts of these children is simply not an option. We hope the Murphy Harps message will touch your heart too. I'm Wes Sargent.